The phonological system of the Hawaiian language is based on documentation from those who developed the Hawaiian alphabet during the 1820s as well as scholarly research conducted by lexicographers and linguists from 1949 to present. Hawaiian has only eight consonant phonemes, P, K, T, H, M, N, L, W, V. There is allophonic variation of K with T, W with V, and L with the T K variation is highly unusual among the world's languages. Hawaiian has either 5 or 25 vowel phonemes, depending on how long vowels and diphthongs are analyzed. If the long vowels and diphthongs are treated as two phoneme sequences, the total of vowel phonemes is 5. However, if the long vowels and diphthongs are treated as separate, unit phonemes, there are 25 vowel phonemes. The short vowel phonemes are U, I, O, E, A. If long vowels are counted separately, they are u, i, o, e, a. If diphthongs are counted separately, they are u, o, oi, e, u, a, o, i, ow, a, o, u, e, i, a, u, a, i, a, o, a, e. There is some allophonic variation of the vowels, but it is much less dramatic than that of the consonants. Hawaiian syllable structure is c, v, v, where c is any consonant and v is any vowel. Double vowels v -v may be long vowels or diphthongs. All c v -v syllables occur except for wu, but wu occurs only in two words borrowed from English. Word stress is predictable in words of one to four syllables but not in words of five or more syllables. Phonological processes in Hawaiian include palatalization and deletion of consonants and the raising, diphthongization, deletion, and compensatory lengthening of vowels. Phonological reduction or decay of consonant phonemes during the historical development of Hawaiian has resulted in the phonemic glottal stop. The ultimate loss deletion of intervocalic consonant phonemes has resulted in long vowels and diphthongs. Topic phonemes and allophones The following description of Hawaiian phonemes and their allophones is based on the experiences of the people who developed the Hawaiian alphabet, as described by Schutz, and on the descriptions of Hawaiian pronunciation and phonology made by Lyavan, and Elbert and Pakui. Some additional details on glottal consonants are found in Carter. It is notable that Hawaiian does not distinguish between t and k. Few languages do not make this distinction, though several Polynesian languages have independently undergone the historical shift from t to k after the change of k to. Samoan is notable for using t in colloquial speech where k is used in formal speech. The American missionaries who developed written Hawaiian during the 1820s found that a t reflex was common at the Kauai Taua'i end of the island chain, and a k reflex at the Big Island, island of Hawaii end. They decided to use k rather than t to represent this phoneme. However, that does not prevent anyone from using the t realization, in speaking or in writing, if they so desire. T is used more than K by speakers of Ni Hao Hawaiian. The missionaries also found allophonic variation between and written with D and L, between V and W, and between B and P. Topic consonants Hawaiian has one of the smallest consonant inventories, Rotokas, the smallest, has six, and one of the smallest phoneme inventories. P and B are reported to be in free variation, although reports of B could be a misinterpretation of unaspirated P by English speakers, there is basic free variation of T and K. However, since Hawaiian has no affricates, no fricative besides H, and no other stops besides P and any non-labial and non-glottal stop, fricative, or affricate, can function as a K. In essence, D, S, Z, T, S, D, Z, C, T, D, X, can all work as an allophone of K. Nevertheless, the main allophones noted by the missionaries in the 1820s, and by linguists, are T and K. Elbert and Pakui point out some instances of a allophone. Schutz conjectured that a T dialect existed in the northwestern islands, and a K dialect in the southeastern islands. Roberts documented a sound between that of English th theta and k in free variation with k among elders from Oahu and Kauai. There is some evidence for instances of free variation between n and there is also free variation between l lateral tap and approximate. Elbert and Pakui have pointed out some instances of n and as allophones. Schutz has conjectured that is prevalent in the northwestern islands and l is prevalent in the southeastern islands. There is free variation of W and V. 
Pakui and Elbert XVII, have conjectured that there is conditioned variation of W and V, but their use of usually makes their theory an admission of free variation. Schutz has conjectured that there was neither W nor V, but rather something between the two. This is most likely a labiodental approximant see also Schutz's 1994 to 113 quotes from letter of Artemis Bishop. Carter has shown instances of synchronic alternation of every non-glottal Hawaiian consonant, P, K, M, N, L, with with glottal fricative, H, and glottal stop. See Hawaiian phonology hashtag glottal stop. There are also instances of variation with zero allophones. For example, huli, way, turn, luhia, luya, variety of shark. Topic glottal stop in Hawaiian. A phonemic glottal stop historically derives from an earlier consonant. A number of words have variant pronunciations between glottal that is, both, h, and, and non-glottal consonants. It is conjectured that the forms with a non-glottal consonant are older and that this phenomenon is part of a process of consonant deletion. This can still be seen in the historical development of the dual personal pronouns. This is exhibited in the suffixes for dual and plural number, which come from lua two and kolu three respectively. The l of lua in the first and third person forms has died or vanished, resulting in the modern forms maua, kaua, and laua. The presence of the glottal stop marks the absence of a phonetically fuller consonant. The second person form olua contains a glottal stop, implying that the l used to be there and still exists in place of l in the intermediate forms ma plus ua, ka plus ua, and la plus ua. A Hawaiian glottal stop thus represents the maximal phonetic reduction of other consonants in centuries past. Elbert and Pakui have shown instances of k and l, such as mukamuku mu u m u u cut and paliki p e k embrace. Carter 1996 to 373 minus 374 has shown examples of all seven of the other Hawaiian consonants alternating synchronically with glottal stop. Topic. Vowels Depending on how one analyzes the inventory of Hawaiian vowel phonemes, it has either 5 or 25 phonemes. The minimum figure of 5 is reached by counting only u, i, o, e, and a uh, as phonemes. Diphthongs and long vowels are analyzed as being sequences of two vowels. For example, the written form o is phonemically o, and the written form is phonemically a. The maximum figure of 25 is reached by counting separately the five short vowels, the five long vowels, the nine short diphthongs, and the six long diphthongs. A reason given to support this analysis is that the diphthongs act as unit phonemes in regard to stress. It is not necessary to postulate that the long vowels and diphthongs should be counted as separate single phonemes, because they can be treated as sequences of two vowels. They are in fact historically derived from two syllable sequences. This is easily seen in the synchronic co-existence of allomorphic pairs of Hawaiian forms such as kolu with ko, both meaning three. The example can be analyzed as a four-phoneme CVCV sequence alternating with a three-phoneme CVV sequence, where the CVV form is derived from the CVCV form through loss of the second consonant. In other words, kolu loses the l, resulting in ko. Kolu is a root form, while ko is found in the plural personal pronouns, indicating three or more reference mako, kako, oko, and lako. The vowel phonemes are shown in the following tables. The information given on allophones constitutes a basic description, not exception free laws. Native speakers of any language can get away with tweaking their own personal pronunciation. Topic Monophthongs Vowel quality is the same for long and short vowels, except for e, versus and a uh, versus when short e is stressed it is lowered to in a sequence of two or more syllables with e unstressed e can also be lowered to but it is otherwise e for example lala black is pronounced l l but ale ale full is pronounced lele there are also instances where unstressed short e can be raised to i for example the negating form aule or auhe can be pronounced aoli or aohi Short a is phonetically when stressed and when unstressed. One might argue for free variation of a and for stressed short a. 
However, Elbert and Pakui (1979–22–24) have made citations to Kinney (1956) and Newbrand (1951) based on tape-recorded evidence, which specifically noted, but not a. Even so, the pronunciations aoli and aohi exhibited above show that there are at least a couple of forms where a is realized as a. Topic. Diphthongs Unlike the other falling diphthongs that is, falling from higher to lower sonority, u, and, oi, are rising diphthongs. For example, kyo spy is pronounced kju, like the English name for the letter q. As with its constituent vowels, diphthongs with short e, and, a, are subject to the same free variation described above. In rapid speech, i and o can become a and o respectively. All long diphthongs are falling. Topic phonotactics Hawaiian syllables may contain one consonant in the onset, or there is no onset. Syllables with no onset contrast with syllables beginning with the glottal stop, alo, front, contrasts with alo, to dodge. Codas and consonant clusters are prohibited in the phonotactics of Hawaiian words of Austronesian origin. However, the borrowed word Christo is pronounced kri .sto. the syllable has a minimum of one vowel, and a maximum of two. A one-vowel syllable has any one of the short or long vowels. A two-vowel syllable has any one of the diphthongs. The structure of the Hawaiian syllable can be represented as being c v v, where the round brackets around c and second v mean that the syllable initial consonant is optional and the syllable may have a long vowel or diphthong. V syllables. Every theoretically possible V syllable occurs in Hawaiian. CV syllables. Every theoretically possible CV syllable occurs, with the single exception of Wu. See Hawaiian headwords. The syllable Wu occurs only in borrowed words. There are only two such words, with Wu, in the Pakui Elbert Dictionary, Wulakake or Vulgate, Vulgate and Wulakula or Vultora vulture. The very last Hawaiian headwords listed in the dictionary, Elbert and Pakui have pointed out that certain combinations of sounds are absent or rare, for example, no content word has the form CV, and the form CVVCV, is also not common. They also noted that monovocalic content words are always long. Topic. Stress Word stress is predictable in Hawaiian for words with three or fewer moras that is, three or fewer vowels, with diphthongs and long vowels counting as two vowels. In such cases, stress is always on the penultimate mora. Longer words will also follow this pattern, but may in addition have a second stressed syllable which is not predictable. In Hawaiian, a stressed syllable is louder in volume, longer in duration and higher in pitch. CVCV, VCV, with both vowels short, ahi, kahi, CVCVCV, CVVCV, VCVCV, VVCV, that is, as in, one, but preceded by a short syllable, uahi, aloha, huali, kakahi, CVV, VV, with either a long vowel or diphthong, i, y, o, equals a, na, na, CVCVV, VCVV, CVVV, VVV, that is, same as three, but preceded by a short syllable, ua, uhai, kue, wa wai, ia equals ia, ina, ina, wa, hua, nana, nana. For other Hawaiian words longer than three moras, stress is not predictable. However, every word can be analyzed as consisting of a sequence of these stress units. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than e acute la dot mock yule old man, stressed as cvcv plus cvcvcv. Makwa, hind, mother, stressed as CVCVV plus CV cavetymology is not a reliable guide to stress. For example, the following proper names are both composed of three words, of one, two, and two moras, but their stress patterns differ. Ka imu ki, pronounced ka acute i dot muk i acute i. Ka ahu manu, pronounced ka ahu. Manu. Topic phonological processes Phonological processes at work in Hawaiian include palatalization of consonants, deletion of consonants, raising and diphthongization of vowels, deletion of unstressed syllables, and compensatory lengthening of vowels. 
Elbert and Pakui have cited Kinney 1956 regarding natural fast speech vowel raising, deletion of unstressed syllables, and Newbrand 1951 regarding Ni Hao dialect free variation of T and K, deletion of consonants, allophone of A, vowel raising. Kinney 1956 has studied tape recordings of 13 or 14 native speakers of Hawaiian. She noted assimilatory raising of vowels in vowel sequences. For example, I was very frequently pronounced a, o, was often o, and I o, was often u. She cited specific words, such as my, directional adverb as may, mau, plural morpheme as mo, and leo, horse as lu. The pronunciation of the island name Maui, 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 was mu, I, with the quality of compared to that of u in English cut. She observed deletion of unstressed syllables, such as k akua god pronounced k ku, and hele akula go pronounced hl cool. She also documented pronunciations of loa gotten as lo and pua pig as pu. Newbrand 1951 found that a Nihauan wrote t and k interchangeably and freely varied the pronunciation of both t and k as t or k. She found auhe no pronounced aohi, showing vowel raising of e to i. She documented noho ana staying pronounced no n showing deletion of the glottal consonants h and the vowel quality of stressed short a was noted as palatalization of consonants in Hawaiian is demonstrated by the well-known pronunciation of ka mood adverb as t. Topic 